pizza, hot chocolate, some ice cream, just a kick in the butt. Don't you think you've had enough of that today? How could I be so stupid? It was an accident, Colby. And we're going to get it straightened out. How? Dre was arrested. Cass is a mess because of me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, slow down. Fact is, all kinds of bad decisions got us here. I'm the one who got stupid drunk. Ruined another birthday party and forced the three of us to be on the road that night. Now Dre's in jail. And Dad, it's... It's all on me. Hero, your father is in jail because of what he did, not because of you. Will you get me the hell out of here? I'm having the money wired. As soon as it hits, she'll make bail, you'll be free. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Albert. He arrested me for protecting my daughter. Well, not to mention the obstruction of justice, hindering an arrest, false reporting. And possible unsworn falsification in regard to the stolen car. Yes, Dad. Way to show the board you're competent. Are you going to use this against me? It's a gift, but I'll hold off. Colby comes first. Sam, I'm really sorry about how this all went down. Dre's a good kid. He's the best. He broke the law. Well, he stepped up. I feel like if I hadn't been so wrapped up in my campaign, man, I could have seen this coming. I could have you know, listened more, talked a little less, and maybe this would have played out differently. Oh, come on, man. I'm living with Cassandra. She never gave up a thing. So we help him now, right? We, we fix this. We try, right? Yeah. I'm going to check on Dre. Make sure they're finished processing him, okay? Thank you, brother. Samuel. So, for sure, Annie and the baby are completely fine. For the 17th time, yes. For sure. That's 18. Mm? I'm so scared, Ryan. I thought I really could lose our baby. It was just a scare. All right. Can I get her out of here, please? Absolutely. I'll start the paperwork. You really were very lucky this time. We are. Okay, I am uh, just wanted to tell you, I don't want to see you in here to the happy day, okay? Blood sugar high, stress level low. You got it. <sighs> Finally. Everything's okay again. We can put all the bad stuff behind us. We can start living our life right. Our dream life. I left some work at Fusion. Oh. So what happened? You just passed out? Yeah. I mean, I, I've just been really stressed lately, and I, I guess I forgot to eat. Well, I'm going to have to make sure you, you eat every hour on the hour, if that's what I have to do, okay? It's still applesauce that you're craving, chunky oh, yeah. applesauce? That's right. All right. Thank you. You're so good to me. I love you. I'll be right back, Okay. We're going to be so happy, Ryan. You'll see. You will love me and your children so much, you will forget all about Greenlee. Greenlee. 
in for her tonight. Um, this is Annie Lavery. I'm Emma's mom. Hi. Um, listen, I'm in the emergency room and... No, everything's fine. It was just a little accident, but um, I'm going to need you to bring Emma here. Okay? Zach and Kendall are home, right? Wonderful. Okay, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Hi. What's wrong? That was Jesse. Trey Woods has been arrested for Richie's hit and run. Dad. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 listen. All right? I'm right here. We're going to go through this together. I'm really proud of you. You stood up. Okay? Yeah. Let's get you ready to meet with your lawyer, okay? Here I am. I'm the law and order candidate. When this all happened, all I wanted to do was find a way around the charges, a technicality, a loophole, anything to get my son off. And you know what he wanted to do, Erica? Stand up, no matter what the consequences were. He learned courage from his father. Well, maybe I'm learning courage from him. Oh, no, no, it's the campaign. I can't hear about numbers and stuff like that right now. I want to thank you for coming. You didn't have to. I appreciate that. Well, I know what it's like when your children are in trouble. If there's anything I can do. You're sure the situation is being handled? Which situation? You or... Uh... Colby, damn it. The car. I told you, it's in pieces the size of Chibble. Shh. Is it untraceable? Of course. Guys, guys. Maybe you shouldn't be discussing how the laws you broke at a police station. I wouldn't be here if Hubbard had any sense. Dad, you lied to the police. What were you thinking? Since when do you start objecting to my finessing the system? What about the time I, uh... I slept with that judge to get you out from under all those drug charges. Oh, uh, listen, I think I'll go check on your bail. I'll so be back. A little bit of obfuscation. Half a dozen times when in the, uh, in the arena of saving your neck. Yeah, well, you know what, Dad? You messed up this time. You made Colby's situation worse. No, no, Hubbard made it worse. Colby wasn't driving. She was a passenger. She was a victim. Oh, really? Does that make you a victim, too? Are you going to use this against me? Don't do it, because remember, I still have that tape. I didn't break any laws by telling the press that you were carted off to Oak Haven. So you would use this against me? I'm your son. Colby is my daughter. She's your sister. Instead of slamming me, how about help me help her? I never should have listened to my dad. I know that. Everybody Stupid. knows how much your father loves you. You trusted him to do what's best for you. Adam can be a hard person to say no to. It's bad enough. My friends are in trouble because of me. But my dad's lies have made it worse for everyone. All I had to do was step up. Yeah, it would have sucked, but it wouldn't be nearly as bad as it is now. Because of you? What about Dre and Cass? Hmm? They were there, too. Nobody forced them to keep quiet, but they chose to. To protect their families. I just kept quiet to protect me and my dad's stupid family company. Honey, life is complicated, okay? You screwed up, you know, and it's going to be tough. There are going to be consequences that won't be so easy to deal with. But the fact is you will because you're a good kid. Maybe I shouldn't have moved back in with dad. If you want to move back in with us. You're always welcome. I don't know what I want. I'm I'm just tired. Why don't you just crash in the guest room until JR gets here, okay? I'm so sorry. Oh, honey. You just sleep well, okay? Thanks. Gina, it's gonna be okay. I promise. 